Hey guys, time to go into Paramount Temple Room Stricter 4. Now this, okay, so we're in room 3, and this is still on my own. My other file. I just want. Um, but don't worry, after this. I'll be able to um go back to my regular file. I'll leave a note in the in the in the beginning of the video in case you don't know what I'm talking about, but well but um yeah, it's just this and then rooms one and two. Okay, so yeah. Um we're in rooms uh, three and four, and yeah, sadly I pretty m much know how to get everything. Even though I just took a suicide leap right there, that wasn't exactly smart. But okay, it's probably best I don't record right now anyway. But hey, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm just going to record anyway for all you guys. I r I do like the rock art here. It sort of fits the room and the level. And we got these freakos. Well, okay. Yeah, we got these freakos. Right here. They're really controlling... Oh, he died. Yeah, they're really controlling... I'm going to call them men. Because they're kind of creepy. All they're really doing is... Oh, here's the bell song. All they're really doing is, like, taking those little pop on your game and type looking paramites and throw hats and slapping together on the bat facts and all and just send them off like they're really controlling and you can probably tell it's like a witch or mystic of some sort because like dabbling and all but still it just the whole thing just screams creepy well, you could probably go with a more mature term but why not and there we get past those oh okay there Thank you, Bell Song. That was simple enough. Now I'm going on to um next room. Uh, come on. Oh, damn. No, not gonna say it. This level with commentary leaves the racism way too open. Like, it just leaves it way, way too open. And. Oh, okay. I think I'm good. Okay. I like how they have, like, just big wings and claws and teeth. Like, they will bite you and kill you, but they really don't use them much. They just, like, fly around. How can I forget about you, though? You're the only little black, purple bastard I can despise. Not sure what color. And Bimbo again! It really, it's not really pleasant to see them, like, peel over like that. It almost looks like you're looking into that things, like, below the belt, and the hair, like, makes it look like sort of, or feathers, whatever, makes it look sort of like a blouse or underskirt. I'm sure... Well, I'm sure it's fur, but whatever it's called, I don't understand the terms of women's clothing. Um, but hey, he, can, he or she can't come over here. Who thought? Who? Who all thought he could do that, or whatever he wants? Like, on. Okay, there. Like, and you can obviously tell, like... I don't know why they just fly around and stuff. Like, I don't... And I don't know why they're... Going after me, though. Like, do Madokans taste good to them? Are they vampire bats? 
I'm sure it's fur though if they're bats. If they are mammals, they could be birds though. But and yeah, there's bats. Nice rock art, but <laughs> that, those bats look a little weird. And those eyes are sort of creepy. I always thought those were paramite eyes. But but yeah, it almost looks like you're looking in your. I'm like, thank God this game doesn't have bare graphics. That would be that would be kind of disturbing to look at. Okay, let's go across here. Now this part was actually really cool to me, like really cool to me as a kid, because like it took me forever to actually find out where to get here. And like it's like yeah, you can see this, but you don't didn't actually know like you go up here and like see and it took me forever to actually find and when I got here it took me forever to actually find out what the slog would do and all and because see like now opens up the door and it took me forever to actually find out you could grab onto that I was too worried about falling off and because like yeah you see um the thing over there but yeah you know, like you c and you see that there's a slog but what could get and how could you get back but the fact that you could actually get over to there I like that was that was really cool. Like, as a kid, it was, and that the slug would actually like start chasing you when you did that, because it would wake up and know you were there, and then like wait here and wait for your judgment and all, and like virtually decide what it can do, and that you can just run down here and grab the legend all. I mean, like, that all was really cool. Like back then, it was just. Like you, because you never expect to do that. I mean, like, sure, the slug is asleep, but it can it act and but and start chasing you. But it can actually interact sort of and make its own decisions. That was really cool. And you can actually like jump, like, hoist and stuff on these ledges. And that's amazing. Like back then, especially for that that time. But even nowadays, it sort of seems that way, especially with the split screens and all. Like, I don't know it's just one of the things about the game that just kept me in awe a lot more in awe than Donkey Kong ever pulled off which is one of the reasons why I prefer Oddworld to Donkey Kong or, or old Oddworld hell even Bomberman 64 didn't have like big open factory field platform type errors like this I mean like God bless the game and like um characters with advanced artificial intelligence like here and hoist onto ledges and all I mean, like God bless the game, but still, Oddworld kind of took the cake in drawing distance, a place you can actually go to, and also, um, character emotion and, um, ability of what, how far they can actually interact, and also physical abilities of what you can actually do. Okay, now, um, we've opened up the door and got the flint lock and all. I think I've had a couple times that I think I've that slog may have actually come down once or tried something. I'm pretty. Sh I'm not sure if that's a glitch or what. I'm pretty. I'm not. I don't think it's supposed to happen. But wait, am I being retarded again? Wait, am I being retarded again? Oh, it came down. Well, I guess it can come down. Wait, where am I go? Abe, you fail me. God damn it. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. I guess I unretarded myself. So, um, wait. Okay, what? Damn it. Uh. Okay, you know what? One sec. Okay. See if I can actually make this without the bats victimizing me.
Oh. Okay, hold on. I don't think the slug can get me from there. In there. So that's all we need to do. Okay, there. And we are done. Okay, so I'm done with this file now. Thankfully. Okay, so next part, I'll actually get back t to my regular file. And we'll start off Paramillion Temples, Room 5 through 6, and going to the Paramillion Nest and all. But, you'll find it all when I do it. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.